Oh, yeah, mademoiselle. The nurse uh, said you wish to speak to me. Yes, thank you very much, doctor. I'm Tiffany Hill. Perhaps you've seen some of my movies? Oh, yes, Shanti. <laughs> well, I've been in Paris a few days, and I am just dying to see if I can't stay just a little bit longer. If oh, I then you must do so. <laughs> oh, good. Maybe you can help me. See, I have this Aunt Sophie who lives uh, in uh, St. Paul de Fonds, uh, and she's very old. And I just am concerned that she's not getting the proper care. Oh, uh, c'est vrai. C'est toujours un problème avec les vieilles. Oh, I'm sorry. It's always a problem with the elderly. Uh. Allons, come. Tell me about her situation. Well, she seems to be losing her mind. And she's done awful lot of money. Qui est Ah, the American policeman. Hmm. Yes, Philippe. We, uh, we appreciated the help that you, uh, you gave us the other day, but we do have a few more questions. I cannot remember much of what we talked about. Uh, I hope I was of some help. Oh, definitely. We heard you came into 500,000 francs. Uh, who told you that? Bank records. Where'd you get the money from? From my work, of course. You never paid that kind of money for a painting before. Where did it come from? My paintings are just beginning to be recognized for what they are, and uh, the price has gone up. Oh, come on, Philippe. You haven't sold the painting this year yet. Who said that? The dealer who handles your work. Oh, he is a vulture. Now, did the money come from those Delafield portraits or from Catherine herself? It is difficult to explain. Look, what was the purpose of the money and Robert, where... Robert, Robert, Robert. Easy. After all, Philippe is a very sick man. Thank you, monsieur. It was November. November, a woman came to me. She was very nervous. She knew I had painted the portrait over the map, and she offered me much, much money to tell her, tell her where it was. I didn't know what had happened to Frisco. I thought he would already have uh, recovered the map, and I needed money, badly. Yeah. Money for sports cars, fast women. You only live once. Woman, what she look like? I have no idea. But was she fat, thin, tall, short, American, French? What? It was dark. She hid her face. She had um, sunglasses, uh, a large hat, and a scarf over her hair. I saw the man much better. What man? He said nothing. But he dressed like an American. He was in his thirties uh, with... Uh, Blonde hair. What are you talking? Sounds like Paul Gabor. Mm -hmm. Oui, a parle bleu anglais. Ah, great. Oui. Listen, my name is Robert Scorpio. I need to place an emergency collect call to the USA immediately. Yeah. A Port Charles Police Department, person to person with one Guy Lewis. Thank you. Uh, that'll be local code 716-555-3300. And I'll wait. Thank you. Okay. Was this the woman? Oh, we... It is her, definitely. Oh, this was her her body. Well? No. No, this is not the man. But it could have been. I mean, you're just not sure, right? No, I am certain. Uh, I saw him much better than I saw her, and this is not him. Oh, come on, Philippe. It has to be him. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. What about this one here? Oh, we... It is him. I would know him anywhere, the eyes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you're losing me here, Robert. Who the hell is this guy? It's the hit man, the one that took the shot at Catherine that night. What made you think of him? He basically described him, blonde American. I just simply told Lewis to include him in the fax packet. Come on, that description could fit 10 to 20 million people. Yeah, but how many of them were in Paris at the same time that Althea Cartwright was? Now, I'm sure that this Interpol report will tell us that. Well, according to this, Althea and our hitman friend could have crossed paths in Paris about three times last year. Probably did. Yeah, but Robert... Look, what does Althea have to do with a map that the WSB has been looking for? 
And how does all this tie into the, the Delafield business? Not to mention an attempted murder. How would I know? You think I'd thought all this up through brilliant deductive reasoning? I'm the flying mushroom here. Every time I open the door, the thought flickens. Oh, it sure does. I mean, hopefully, someday, somewhere, this law makes sense to us. Right? Maybe. Listen, in the meantime, let's get out of here before the doctor gets back. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. I want to rescue Tiffany anyway. Right. Philippe, thanks for your time. And no, uh, listen, good luck with the painting, all right? We'll Au see you, monsieur. Au revoir. Sweetheart, just checking to see you're going to be on time for this flight. We already missed one flight today. If you don't show up for this one, I'll begin to suspect you don't want to go. No, 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 I'll be there. I've, I've been looking forward to this ever since Van Buren invited us. I love you. Me too. <sighs> so you're definitely going. Yes, of course I'm going, Mary. Why wouldn't I go? Well, did Paul straighten out your mind and ask uh, answer all your questions? Well, he... No. Then what did he say that brought you around? Mary, believe it or not, Paul loves me. And he wants me to be happy. <sighs> he just convinced me I was overreacting a little bit. Oh, so that's what he said, that you were overreacting. Just because you thought, oh, maybe he was involved with Althea because she said he was. Mary, get off of it. Althea was insane, and Paul saved my life by killing her. And that's end of story. Oh. I'm sorry. I can't yell at you and leave. I'm sorry. It didn't hurt me a bit, darling. You always yell and, and rant at yourself when, when you're going against your own good instincts. Could you just listen to what I have to say for a moment? Oh, of course, darling. You know, when Mom and Dad died or were killed, Janice, soon after that, it's like my whole life this huge nightmare. Then I met Paul, and he was so normal, so wholesome. And I thought maybe the nightmare might come to an end, and that I could live a normal life again. You know, I just have to ask this. How does Robert Scarpio make you feel? <sighs> All right. All right, Robert Scorpio. Well, he's not bad looking in a funny sort of way. He's, um, he's never boring. And he makes a pretty fun roommate at the cottage, although nothing happened. It was strictly platonic, mind you. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. I know, Robert. Uh-huh, you do, do you? Uh. Well, just because I'm mildly attracted to Robert doesn't make Paul a bad guy. If I had met Robert first, I mean, who knows? But I didn't. And because I didn't, uh, I'm s still committed to Paul. That's the way it goes. Catherine, are you listening to yourself? You're going to base your whole life on a little accident of the calendar? Yeah, it's, it's not an accident. I'm committed to Paul. Oh, my dear girl. Oh, Mary. Oh. I'll be back in a few days, all right? But just, just please don't do anything foolish. <laughs> 